We're booting up right now the 128 uh, megabyte uh, disk on module with Puppy Linux right here and it's on a old Pentium 3. It's got an 850 megahertz overdrive processor 768 megs of RAM. Originally came with a uh, 450 megahertz. This is an 850 megahertz uh, CPU. This is an IDE disk on modules, about eight bucks off of eBay. It connects up to one of the uh, disk drive connectors and hooked up to the IDE port. So, what I'm doing over here is I'm going through the uh, prompts. Right now, it's asking for the keyboard. I'll hit OK. Hit OK here. It's asking about the monitor. This is an old Dell 1024 by 768 LCD monitor I've got. And we're booting up. Over here I've got the connector here for the VGA and I've also connect connected up to the internet here. So here's the desktop. I'm going to go over here and to connect this I've got to go through on the system and uh, Let's see if I've already connected up. This has been booted up once before. Connect on internet. Puppy Linux. There's Ethernet card. Auto. It's connected. I'm going to save the configuration. Browse. Open a web connection. Let's type in YouTube. It's probably not going to like it because this is an older browser. Oops, browser's not supported because this is what you call SeaMonkey. We'll, op we'll go through and say OK. Let's go look at Gmail, Blue Mail, since this is uh, April Fools. Let's go to the nose. We'll see if the uh, audio's there. It's a little bit herky jerky here because this is an 850 megahertz machine. If I go to menu here and try to go through the utility, let's set up. We'll see if we can find how to set up the. Uh, Go to the wizard wizard. Set up the sound. I didn't save any of the settings, so I'm going to go through and try to find what the sound card is. I turned off the uh, internet there, then it goes a lot quicker so found a crystal card yes okay now once I've done all that down over here there should be uh, volume control pops up there it is now I'm going to go over here and browse the internet again since I've been on before it should say open YouTube there let's go to introducing Gmail blue Google search 
search is incredibly powerful. You can search for text across the internet, most of human knowledge, images, books, videos. But we realized there was an important... Now what's weird is after I've added the sound cards, it seems to be like it's got more reserve horsepower here for... I'm going to go here and look to see how much uh, CPU I'm using. Top U running processes. So I'm using about 64 to 67 percent here of the uh, CPU watching a YouTube video. When I booted this up a few minutes ago using a uh, 550 megahertz processor here that's got half speed L2. These videos were pretty much unwatchable. This is what you got has a copper mine which has full speed L2 and it's got 850 uh, megahertz. This is April Fool's Day, so I'm just playing around. Anyways, this is uh, Puppy Linux running right now. On a Pentium 3, 850 megahertz, uh, 768 megs of RAM. It's an IBM 6862. And uh, got it hooked to the internet. And we've got uh, disk on module, 128 megs here, which is uh, eight bucks half off of eBay. So it's amazing. Here's an old clunker. I've got uh, hard drive doesn't even work, but I've got it plugged in here to the IDE, and I've got an adapter here, IDE to IDE, just so I have it out here. But this, basically, this disk on module will plug right down into the motherboard. You don't even need a cable. And it plugs into the uh, one of the connectors like this for a disk drive. And with that, you can go ahead and boot up, be on the internet uh, without even a CD. There's not even a hard disk. It's only this gizmo here, which is a solid state module. In fact, this is only 128 megs, which is hardly anything, but. Got this off eBay for about eight bucks. Lisa least a module just to play around with, and it was kind of amazed. Hooked it to this old clunker and got on there. And uh, amazed I could actually watch some videos decently.